Oh god, that seemed a little laggy. Anyway, hello everybody and welcome to Black Ram GX Gaming. Yeah, it did look a little laggy. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank Marcus over there for popping in here real quick, dropping the like and some shares and a nice comment. Happy streaming, bro. Appreciate you, Marcus. We'll catch you on uh, next time if you're around. Ah, so, all right, we're back. We're live. We're here. We're doing some um, Pokemon Legends Arceus today. Should be a good day. Um, did a few things over the weekend. Caught some shinies, so I'll show those. Uh, caught a few other things that uh, I hadn't seen previously, so I will uh, at least tell you guys where I found those since they seem to be a little rare. And just kind of go over some of the things I found and the little bits I was able to play over the weekend. Um, so yeah, if you're watching over there on YouTube, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. It goes a long way. Helps out a lot. And if you're a returning customer here, um, you know, drop a little like, maybe some nice comments, do all those things. If you're here on Facebook, even after the stream, please drop a follow. We are, you will see in a second, uh, at 239 of our goal of 250 followers. So really every single person who drops follow, uh, it goes a long way. It helps out a lot. We're trying to hit that goal by the end of March here. And we're already <clears throat> about a quarter of the way through the month. So we will need all the help we can get. Appreciate you guys. Anyway, let's get to it. Why is it so laggy? Anyway. I've discovered the beauty of sticky globs. So I will be using them instead. Um, because the acorns seem to take quite a bit, but you know, just take the acorn, the mud, blah blah blah. Anyway, you know the seeds of mastery. <clears throat> you don't really need a lot of them or many of them, and they are worth a lot. So that's a good item to sell. Um, uh, I've noticed 69 logs, hilarious. And of course, your jewelry that you managed to get. I've also been selling some of my stones here. Just get too many. You don't need them, so anything over 10 is like good to go. Uh, so let's see what we got here. So I did find a shield dot. Um, so this has been coming up. I saw it one time. It seems like it's like a similar to Kranidos. You know, a rock type. Let's see, where is he? Right here. These pop up like crazy in the uh, time distortions here in the highlands but one time just once in the same way that a cranidose comes up where he doesn't come up with a set of one two or three or two or three it's usually two or three guys are attacking him he randomly came up by himself kind of like magnemites or uh sneasels or porygons in the other areas <clears throat> so shield on was a rare one and uh hey uncanny what up what up cheers cheers This headset feels hella bulky today. <laughs> Thank you for the like. Cheers. And to Marcus as well. Cheers. So we'll have to raise him up today <clears throat> and evolve him. Um, but I think his thing was mainly catching him. So if we uh, get lucky with time distortions and catch a few more. We'll uh, be further along. Otherwise, um, evolving him and using one move, Ancient Power, um, which only gets you one point each, will help you with his Pokedex. So he is going to be a work in progress. Sneasel, obviously, already done. But uh, <clears throat> we have to evolve it into its own form. So in the Sneasler or whatever. So we can actually work on that one. Let's see, who else did we get? We got we got some other things. We did get a... Uh, I guess you can barely see it there. Mm. Let's take that down. And move some things. We'll move... Oh, not that. Move these things over here in real time. All right, so you can kind of see that apex thing. 
it's just a little bit more difficult. Or a little less difficult, I should say. Simple. Anyway, so we got a Apex a, a Alpha, fuck me, uh, Porygon 2 here. Uh, popped up in a time distortion, so that was cool. Um, got another Snorlax, just kind of for fun. And we have swapped out a lot of guys. <clears throat> Saw a Cherim uh, outbreak, so we did one of those. There was a Rotom outbreak, and actually, I'm going to head back to the village and show you what I discovered here with this refrigerator Rotom. You can transform them with certain devices. I did find a Lek Kid. So a Lek Kid will randomly spawn sometimes where Electabuzz and Electabire. Uh, I'll just show you real quick. Spawn up here along this snowy path. So sometimes a Lek Kid will just be up there. Um, it's feeding him. Um, catching him, catching him while he's sleeping. Are the things to do. And likewise on Fire Spit Isle, Isle, Island. Yeah, words are hard today. Where Magmar and um, yeah, Magmar spawns. Sometimes there'll be a Magmi. First time I went over there, I found, as I'll show you here, an Alpha Magmi and a regular Magmi. So I managed to snag two, which is pretty great. Also on Fire Spit Island is a Alpha Nine Tails. So I've caught a couple of those. Um, <laughs> so you guys got all saw Glizgar and all that good stuff. Um, what else is new? Caught a bunch of different evolutions. Got a couple more letters here. And uh, here's the cream of the crop. So we got some new shinies. We did find another shiny Luxray right by Snorlax. <clears throat> the Alpha Snorlax, which was really cool. Um, a shiny Geodude popped out of a rock on me. And a shiny Drifloon was just floating about. So these three, completely random, just popped up. I've already got different forms of them. So just leaving them as is. If anything, this Luxray is trade bait. Then... Uh, the Roselia was also random. I found a shiny Roselia up by um, Roser Glade or whatever it is, the Alpha, in the second area. Uh, and the rest of these were through outbreaks. Found a green Tangrowth. Let's just take a look. On an outbreak. Not bad. I don't know if I can just swap between these guys. I can. A golden magic carp happened to be in this area, which is really cool. I'm kind of excited to evolve him into a red Gyarados, but I, I don't know if I want to leave these guys. A green Zubat. I find that to be absolutely awesome. Baller. Uh, Yellow-ish, orange-ish, gold Lickitung, which I thought was really, really cool. The slightly less green, but purple and black. Rosed Roselia. I find that to be really cool. And this kind of lighter colored Cherubi. I find that I really hate it when they're just slightly lighter colored. So these guys all can be, except for Tangrowth. He was just here to show. These guys can all be worked on and evolved if I choose, or I can leave them as is in the event that I find, say, a shiny Luxray. Could be the same situation for all these guys, where I could find. An evolved form of them and therefore I've now got two like in this situation that I didn't necessarily want so that's what's been happening there um, these guys have just been kind of my team I had the what's it called mischievous one with me miss Magius so that's up to 77 but that one was unnecessary I thought after a while I never used her. And I've already got a ghost type with Typhlosion. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Empoleon out. No. 
I don't know who's worth taking out. We'll take out Electifier for now. We'll just leave him up here. Because he's beefy. And I had to go buy this. I was having terrible luck actually finding one. And we'll get Sneasel. Do it. Do it now. So I found those outbreaks to be extremely useful for finding shinies. It was maybe one in every four outbreaks you would find a shiny of something. So you're really just rolling the dice later. So we got seven of these left. Elect kid, we caught two, caught one without being spotted, and I definitely came up behind one that was sleeping and tried to catch him, and it just, it didn't work. So I could have fed it, but it was it was literally sleeping. I walked right in front of it, snuck right around behind it, and caught it, and it doesn't count. So I don't know. I just uh, left it as is, I guess. And the next one I see, I will feed and feed and feed. Um, let's see. So I'm going to catch the next one I see too. So I'll just have to feed it three times. Not bad. This guy caught, heavy caught, ancient power, and evolved. So evolving multiple won't even matter. It's just about catching them in ancient power uh, and catching being the biggest thing. But I, I think I can evolve the one I've got already. Yeah. Dang, his moves are pretty good already. Forget defense. We don't play defense around here. So I'll do that a few times before we evolve him. Okay, so if we go up here and do this mission, we should get our ability to speed jump right up there. But for now, whoops, I want to look at Sneasler. Dire Claw, Sword Dance, and Agile Style is best. And it's always interesting when the move they want you to use is one of their worst moves. But also, it's better to be that than when, um, man, my train of thought is just not there today. Then when it's something that you got to get him to, like, level 74. Anyway, his uh, thingamajig evolved into a dust clops. So I've not gotten the mission for that, but I did do the compare and contrast. I did a couple missions that were just garbage anyway so that guy i just started checking that guy all the time now because he sells you some good stuff so now you'll see there's these orange devices all over that that guy will sell you and <clears throat> i guess i've only got the three but if you got a rotom the rotom will investigate it and transform into one of these things so we'll do this guy he enters the mower. Boom. And now he's a refrigerator. And he learns new moves like Blizzard. Got this microwave. I assume it'll be maybe a fire type now. I don't know. After I did it once, I waited for you guys. So this is all new to me. Whoa. Microwave. Rotom. Overheat. Alrighty. And I assume this is grass type. And I I gotta think that there's more devices than this. Leaf storm, I don't know. I, don't know. I also got a metric 
fuck ton of ultra balls and jet balls. Um, and just trying to use, uh, I might create some better lures here too. Ooh. Should I try to get a shiny combi? Star Raptor or Remo Raid? I don't know who's gonna look the coolest. I guess this guy. I'll get more to sell at least from them. Um I was gonna say. Anyway, I tried using um Pokeballs and Great Balls that I would get from crates and whatnot that you could smash. And I just remembered how terrible they truly are. Kayla, thank you for the like. Cheers. How are you doing? Hmm. Maybe I don't need to make a better lure. Because they all seem to be specific to something. I don't like that. Let's take all my berries. That'll do. That's fine. The berries work. Mostly. Alright. So grab this first, and then we'll head over to the Star Raptor outbreak. See if we can get any shiny guys. And I'll say, crafting all these Pokeballs that I have, Ultra Balls and whatnot. It has cost me quite the fortune, but it's definitely worth it. They just work so much better. And I ran out of a lot of resources, but I have found that a lot is really cheap to buy just a ton of so I started buying a lot instead of uh, worrying about finding it I went right past the bag didn't I huh really botched that one my brain's not working at a thousand percent today Sneaky boy, let me catch some birds. Hoping one of them will shine. They are pissed. All right, well, normally this is the point where I would sticky glob one of them, but in this case, that's a lot of them. The eyes can't see it too well. It's kind of blinking. <laughs> I'm only made things worse. With the eyes blinking, it means you got a little bit of time to wait, but they're no longer chasing. Oh, come on. All right, one on one, let's go. This is not going well. Look at his moves. Jeepers. Um, and it just so happens that I also put away 
My one guy who would have been great here, Electrifier. Um, didn't think this one through. This will be a good opportunity, though, to get his uh, Pokedex entry done. Sneezer's pretty cool, but I don't know if I'd keep him. He's just, he's not an elf. Now right, he's gonna tucker himself out, so I'm just gonna keep this guy alive. This also marks a monumentous occasion. That was the first time I've used a healing item in battle. I normally just let them die. I know, I know. Terrible. But, you know what? They'll be fine. So I'm really trying to save the jet balls as best I can. Someone's mad, or at least they think they're mad. You don't know. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. Let's go. One on one. Again, I'll do one on ones, but they do seem to have a nasty little uh, super effective move on me. Which actually, I might not even have enough health right now. I might get murked. Oh, and the poison? Ciao. Alright, Sneezy's doing alright. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So one more agile move ought to do it. And then we can work a little bit on shield down here. Our main intention here is to just catch as many of these things as we can for the purpose of getting that part of the Pokedex done for captures and we get more money for it obviously. If you don't catch them and you just beat them up you don't really get anything for it but you do get money for capture, so. You might as well capture him. Oh, I saw that second one coming. Whoo wee! That could have been not that good. So we can agile in, and the next one will do a nice hard hit. No, why is he paralyzed? Isn't this move supposed to poison him? Yeah, he's poisoned and paralyzed. Oh, shnikes. Well, now he's definitely dead, but so is my guy. My guy served his purpose. He's done. I will continue to get him experience, but his Pokedex entry is complete. So no shiny Star Raptors, unfortunately. Nice, caught that one. So 
now, I don't know if this move is even gonna work. Oh, it's not ground, it's a rock type. So it should work. Super effective, actually. Should've just had him out here laying the smack down on these birds. The reported Pokemon seem to be gone. So they are Dunzi, Dunzo, Dunzu. I'm making up words as I go. Let's go get our bag. That's literally right here. And I somehow passed. Get Felix's stuff. Help her brother out. And so here's what we normally do. So as I do these outbreaks, I see who is the best of the best that we got here. So I identify it's these two. I try to get a male and a female, 36, 36. Oh, I've already got better. Dump them all. If what I've caught is better than what I've already got, replace them and dump the weaker ones. And you get all these grit stuff. I'll get all the money for these guys. Helps out with their entry. He's done. So I'm thinking, I don't know, might get him up to at least 12 of the ancient powers. Maybe more so, because these guys have been super rare. So... I was at two if I evolve them four and I can get five more off these moves, so nine. If I get them up to 12, I get them up to 12 and then I just need to catch one more. That's all there is to that. So we will just keep having to work on him. Hey, Michael Payne, what's going on? Thank you for the like. Good afternoon, afternoon to you, sir. I wish it was afternoon. Actually, I don't, because then I'd be at work. I'm just fine with what it is. Now, since you're just getting here, I'll have to show you what I've uh, caught. Play a little bit over the weekends when I had a chance between things that were going on, and I did find a few shinies doing some outbreaks now that I understand how the outbreaks go. Let's check this out, my friend. I also found Elect Kid and Magby. Magby... And elect kid just kind of spawn where the uh, higher forms are. So where you see all the magmars on the fire spit magbies are there now. I found an alpha magby and a regular magby. Pretty sweet. Of course, if you haven't seen, there's elf uh, um, nine tails that'll spawn up there after you finish with the quest. And then I found some elect kids over by where these guys were. Same spot, just um, a pretty low chance that they'll spawn. Rotom. There's the guy with the cart in town, who's like, what, they're part of like the Explorer Corpse or whatever, they got the blue and yellow um, clothes. And the one guy sells you random stuff. He sells you sometimes machines that'll come in your house, and your Rotoms will turn into those machines if they interact with them. So I caught a bunch of Rotoms, and kind of showed off at the beginning of the stream how that works. It's interesting. Uh, but let's see what we got here. So I found another Luxray right behind the Alpha Snorlax that was shiny. A shiny Geodude that jumped out of a rock at me. And a shiny Drifloon that was just out and about. But we also got at a Outbreak. Shiny Tangrowth. I think he looks pretty awesome. Shiny Roselia was just up by 
Rosa Raid, I believe it is. Hanging out. Got the purple and black roses. Pretty cool. Shiny Lickitung. This was an outbreak in the Myrlands. It's pretty cool. I saw him a mile away. Not really, but... Shiny Zubat. You can't miss that thing. Big green Zubat. He was at uh, uh, the Highlands where I'm at now. Magikarp. He was also in the Highlands. Uh, he's gold. And as most of you, we... Most of us know. Uh, Gyarados will be red if I evolve him. I think at 20. I think it's 20 in this game that he'll evolve. So I could do that. And Shruby just looks like a slightly lighter colored Cherubi. But that's what I found. So I'm debating on evolving those guys or not. Just in case I find a shiny version of their evolved forms in the future. I think it'd be better if I had one of each. Especially since I only thought about that as I caught a second Luxray. I originally, um, you know, this guy was, uh, what do you call him? A, a Shinx. He's a Shinx that evolved all the way, and now I'm like, oh, well, now I have two Luxrays. So, I think 25. Okay, maybe it is. I don't remember. I just remembered it was a lot earlier than it used to be. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to hold on to him for now and leave him. Tan growth is pretty much the uh, one I was most impressed with, being green instead of blue. Kind of the way he should be since he's grass vines. Electivire here. Oh, you know what? I can take him back now. I've been beefing him up. He's so cool. Uh, I absolutely love him, so... I don't know why there's that space there. Um, so I like that these are both Sneasel, but they evolve into different things. This is the same entry, no matter how you look at it. Very interesting. If you can catch an Alpha Magikarp, you can evolve it straight away. I have. I have, actually. There's one, as I'm sure you know, at the waterfall in Obsidian uh, Fields. Level 55. He was super beefy. And he was super easy to catch. Different forms. Are the different forms, aren't they just... Their height? I guess. I've seen the different forms in the Pokedex, but I haven't seen a difference or taken, I guess, much of a time to look and see the difference. Wow, there's a bag. There's a bag literally right in the camp over here. I have never seen that. Who died right here? Someone was trying to run away and leave, but couldn't and got killed right here at the edge of camp. What chased them this far? Ooh, good question. What did chase them that far? Different forms are different color and different region. Oh, you mean like... His Swain versus regular Sneasels. I gotcha. Sometimes it's, I think, the male or female, like Heracross, who just happens to be there in front of me. Excuse me, there's a bag, I believe. I see it. Huh. Eric? I got you, man. You know, after seeing your shiny um, gold duck, I've spent a little extra time looking at gold ducks, going to where they spawn. Spawn. Worm pool? Oh, or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's its name? Wormadam? Look out! I'm trying to bully this thing a little bit. That's true. So there's not many things that have different forms, but some. I don't 
don't know where I'm going right now. Let's go up here. And we'll continue on with the main quest. Because there's really not a lot. Oh, and the shield down I found that I've got um, ready to go right here. This guy. He seems to be super rare. And he comes out of time distortions. So you notice in certain areas, like the first area. Oh, hello. It's, uh, Weevil is like a guaranteed to be there. And he kind of spawns by himself and runs around. There'll be like three or four of them. Second area, it's Porygon. Um, in this area, it's mostly Kranidos. And then occasionally, very rarely, once in a while, a shield done. It's kind of cool. Blew me away when he came up. Didn't see it coming. I caught him real fast. No, Wormpool hunted the person who killed them. What? Wormpool. What is that one? I don't know that I've seen that Pokemon yet. But there are a few I have not found yet. So I've been trying to be good and not uh, spoil anything. Is that part of the story or something? Why don't I remember that? Moan, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the like. Cheers. Oh, that spelled right. Um, Wurmple? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't remember it. Killing anyone, but like the it was a joke because it's weak. Oh, okay, I was like, Holy shit! Oh my god, whatever this thing is, it's not to be messed with. <laughs> but uh, I got you now because it could be dust ox or um, beautify. No, you had me fooled for sure. Oh, and sometimes I've seen now at Voltorbs can be in these boxes. That was kind of rude. These Gligars are overly aggressive sometimes. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. That's all. I didn't ask for this. Nope, I thought that was the bag. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Here it is. Okay. So now we can do the next part of the story here. We can fight on the they them and uh, take out their scun tank again. Take out whatever the thing is in the area here. So electrode. I like a red, blue, yellow pull turb would be the Pokeball. You go to pick it up and you encounter him. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's, uh, that's not what I thought it was. All right. So after playing this a little bit on the weekend and having to go up and down these mountains to try to find like the elect kids, 
Um, I realized how badly and how quickly you want to do the story of this area. Because when your two spawns are down here and also down here and then the rest of the map. You just have to travel from the bottom. Having the quick spawn from the arena up here. Oh, fast travel location, I mean. Or whatever you want to call it. Quick spawn works too, I guess. Cannot be underestimated. How good that is. It wasn't bad when it was a couple Voltorbs, but then all of a sudden it's a level 40 Electrode. And he's there to kick names and eat ass and well, he does that. If you didn't KO him right away or capture him in one hit, they'd explode and kill whatever you had out there. You get no experience and it's going to cost you a revive. Or, more likely, you just turn the game off and back on again. <laughs> and try again. Uh, welcome to the Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I'm going to beat up this Electrode so fast. I hope this character goes away. Doesn't come back after this. I gotta beat them again. Deal. What kind of trickery is... Not only is this garbage in a three on one, tomfoolery and a cheat. But I don't even get the first hit. You're just gonna pound on me and I hope, I hope I still have enough health to do a hit. All right, well now you done fucked up. I'm gonna take out the one closest to you first. And then your other friends solely after that. This dude, this dude, or girl, or whatever, it's a real problem. Garchomp? You were really letting me down. Garchomp, I love it. He's like a hammerhead shark dragon. Super intimidating. All right, we're gonna give Shield on another chance here. Try to get a few of his ancient powers out. Nickel Fritz. Imagine if all those guys' Pokemon were actually higher level. And not a couple of wimps. And one decent level. I mean, Skunk Tank wasn't bad. I thought Ancient Power was going to be good against him because he's a flying type. Make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. God, this person's awful. I just lacked her time. They are 
are truly the worst! I can't help you because I've forgotten the very thing that I take care of and what it likes. What does it like? I don't know. I'm kind of an asshole. Too bad anger doesn't make bombs as Millie smiles. This guy's alright. He was kind of a jerk in the beginning, too, but he's gotten better. I'll help you. <laughs> I, I cannot stand this person. I want to throw bombs at Melly as much as I can. Alright, so uh, Arcanine messed me up pretty good. Let's see. Let's let's see what uh, Electrode will do. Don't stop moving, or you'll be dead. This game doesn't play around. Not knocked out, like the verbiage they normally use. You will be dead. You'll have to restart the whole game. Everything you caught released. How do they get up into the trees? Oh, he had one job. One job! Look after the Pokemon and you don't know what they look like. Or what they like. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What in the snickle fritz? Oh my god. Bounce into the trees. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. How do they get the momentum to bounce? They don't have legs. Okay. These things are super annoying. this call of duty why is there so many explosions oh my lord i don't know where to be i don't know where to be Woo! this thing is wild That sucks. Oh. Okay, Torter. What's he gonna do to Torter? Nothing. They use their ass beam <laughs> like you showed us last week. Oh, that's true. Let's try a headlong rush. Cool. 
Oh my god, it's so fast. Okay, so I can't get him to get hit by his own giant blue orb ball. Oh. I'm dead. Did you see how close he was? Ah! He was one, maybe two bombs away. Those damn blue orbs. There's nothing you can do besides just constantly keep avoiding them. They don't go away. So you gotta take the hit. But, but, that massive explosion really got me. Oh. You can't really sprint either. I, and by really, I mean at all. God, the range. Whew. This thing's insane. He got salty. Yeah, he did. He knew he was about to lose and he cheated. This electrode. Don't play fair. I think the key here is just to not take hits from um, the falling Voltorbs because the homing beams are going to get you. I, I don't know how long I have to outrun this to the ends of the earth. You get one bomb off every... 20 seconds. Whoa. Ah, oh. He just sends another one. It's damn near cheating. Whatever friendly for kids aspect these games used to have. Oh my god. They're gone. Oh my god, the line, it's just getting farther away. Okay, it looks like if you can just hold out until he does that little explosion, you're pretty much good. That's the key here. Can you use the Voltorb to burst it? No, oh, maybe. I don't know. We got him. Look at that. Another one bites the dust. I don't know, can they bite? It doesn't look like they have mouths. They just kind of have a sticker there. Oh, he's happy. Thank you for your plate, good sir. Roll on, dude. <laughs> so, so unhappy. 
This person is perpetually upset at anything you do. The old man from the sky. So is this like one of those paradoxes? This guy comes from the future to tell us about Pokemon trainers and to create the terms and all that. Uh, so the people in the past learned this. So where did it come from originally? Right? It's just a perpetual cycle. This is how it all began. So if it doesn't go through time, there's no Pokemon trainers. He's a dude from Diamond. See, I never got that far. I never ran into him. But I think it is cool that they are connecting the games um, a little more. I know, like, Red, Blue connected to Gold and Silver when you could play um, and take on your original character. And he's super beefy there at the end, which was really cool. But it makes sense. They've obviously connected uh, Diamond Pearl and Team Galaxy all here. He's a time traveler. Well, for sure. Bravo, excellent. This guy's really intimidating with all the points. He needs to knock it off. It's like, I know you're talking to me, you're just looking at me. Don't, don't keep pointing at me. <laughs> also, the guy that created the other games, his name starts with them. Um... He didn't make this game, and there's a lot of memes about it. It's his face saying, but what about the kids? <laughs> yeah, I saw that he gave up creative control for this one. Just so it could be different. Um, which is fantastic. I mean, I love this one so far. It's been great. There we go. We finally have that... Uh, quick spawn here. Let's see if we can get in that cave now. There's the cave at the top. They weren't letting me in. Maybe I can slip past them. Also, maybe there's an elect kit up here. No. Maybe there isn't. Shenanigans. Ah. Sir, if you could please let me pass. Shenanigans. All right. I guess we got to go back to Juby Life and we'll talk to the commander. Maybe you'll have something interesting to say. Nine more of those ancient powers should be good. 
So I wonder as we are teetering towards the end of the game here, are we going to see a lot of quests still coming up? Or is it going to slow down a little bit? One thing I do appreciate about this game is the fact that it's definitely harder. Oh, look at that. You ever notice that this guy always kind of has this plain look? He kind of looks higher than you. He's a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I'll just give you all my money. Does anyone know when that ends? Like, what's the most amount of money he'll ask from you? Does this end at, like, a million? Also, if you didn't know, there's a door to the right in this guy's office. You can take that to get to the roof. I tried it over the weekend. I had a buddy who told me about it. I was like, well, I gotta just take a look. Ten million, you think it was? Oh, my God. Hmm. If you ever played, like, I got Spyro controller here. You ever played Spyro? There's a character called Moneybags who consistently takes your money to help you progress through the game. But he's literally on your side and against whoever the big bad is from taking over. He's like, I'm helping you help me help you by paying me large sums of money. And he just keeps taking large sums of your money throughout the game told me about if you told me that number i guess i don't remember i just couldn't fathom it as i'm already at 150,000 dinner's on kamado tonight eat your fill you can see his hands shaking he's gonna lose the whole bowl of soup before he gets to you The door to get the magic card. Yeah, to get the uh, unknown up there that's on the back of the magic card. I got it from the ground. I knew it was up there because I saw a map. You know what? I wouldn't find them all without the map. I sped it up, that's all. And, uh... <laughs> this lady in the background. Sam, thank you for the like. Cheers. Sweeping in super slow motion. Not slow motion, but it's kind of choppy. Thank you for the share, Sam. How are you doing? But I realized going through the door up top and onto the roof of the main building, that's how you would find that unknown. Otherwise, I got it from the ground and I'm like, how would you ever see this? How would you ever know that unknown is up there on that Magikarp statue? It's wild. But like, you never stay in the office, right? As you saw, the conversation ended in the office the one time I had to go there, and it sends me right back out here. So, I don't think you're ever in the office after talking to him when you're supposed to. Uh, so you have to just go out of your way to go up there and happen to find it. Isn't, <clears throat> isn't Team Galaxy the bad guys in Diamond and Pearl? Which I find to be really funny that we're working with them now. Maybe they're not, but I thought they were. They're like the Team Rocket. On to the next one. I look looking around, so I found it. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Avalug, which lives in Alabaster, Iceland. So I got an Avalug right from the start of the game when trading became available. I was like, oh, trading, that's cool. I'll trade this level 2 Bidoof that I just happen to have. 
and someone traded me a level 45 Avalog right from the start. And uh, that helped me out tremendously with taking down Alphas early. I don't think without it, I could have got Rabidash right away. It would have taken me a lot longer than having Rabidash. And uh, Avalog helped me out to get Snorlax. But actually, Rabidash doesn't do much. If you got that level 40, 41, whatever it is, Rabidash, that's an alpha over there, take it up against the Snorlax. The Snorlax one hits it. This guy is interesting. He's saying, oh, people still don't trust you. You gotta keep proving yourself. I, I don't even live in this town. I visit on occasion. So I don't know why my character even cares what they think. I'm basically a nomad. Also, I get what you're talking about now about the Wurmple attacking somebody. We're not even going to talk about that? He's just going to ignore the fact that he was on the ground because of a giant Wurmple? Scared out of his mind. It's pretty sus. Keep up the survey corpse says a kindly Pokemon called Blissey saved her from a sticky situation. Speak to Pippa about this incident and do your utmost to be of help if you would. That's so polite. Um, one other thing I did randomly run into... Did you lose your sister again? Oh my god. These people. These people. Um, but yeah. I forgot what I was talking about right before that. Oh. I found on the beach I was going to get somebody's bag. Um one of the three sisters that constantly uh, attacks you and is a bandit. I think it was Coin. Maybe. Attacked me on the beach. So I think that was a random event. I think that they will randomly attack you. In certain areas. If you just run into them. Some sand radishes. They sound delicious. I would love to. I think I have a Curlia. Curlia? Let's see. Name it, I got it. I've got it. That's what I'll do. New styles. I'm scared to see what they are. It's going to cost me 500 and I'm not even going to like it. One shard of each? Sure. I don't know if I have one of each, but... I might actually need to physically have them in my hands. I do have one each. Alright, nice. Because I've been turning them into um, star pieces, I believe it is. Pretty much right away. You're welcome, lady. She gonna give me some stuff for free? I think pretty much the only thing that happens is they add different colors of kimonos. Or whatever.
Two plump beams, two leaves, two crunchy salts. Okay. I swear that guy really needs to get uh, her a bell or make a GPS so you can just locate her. On the last one I saved her and she basically said that she was doing it for fun. So I knew you'd save me so I just I thought I'd just come out here and see what happens. She was standing on like there's like a little cliff on the edge of one of the waterfalls in the highlands and that's where she's hiding. Like so you just put yourself in mortal danger for fun? These evolution pickles? Okay, let me jump over here and try to make one of these pickles. Let's see what the description is. Are they just messing with me? These pickled vegetables prime a Pokemon for battle. The Pokemon takes a hard-hitting stance, which boosts the power of the Pokemon move by 50%. While absolutely badass. Um, it's not quite what, uh, what it made it look like. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's do berries. Wait, not the usual one. What's the other choice? The special one. Holy biscuits. They're running a racket here on these uh, berries. What are you guys up to? No good, I suspect. I need to show them one of each kind of burmy. So, Pokemon are relatively undiscovered at this point. Couldn't there just be a name for each one of them that they could have made up, potentially? Oh, I get to pick and choose who's right based on which one I show them? Oh, well, that makes it interesting. Trash. Oh, got to show him one of each. Maybe, actually. Let's see. Ha, see, I was right. At GameSpot, at the moment, they're giving codes to get a Growlithe level 26 and Feather Balls. It's for the 26th anniversary. Nice. You like the trash one? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of nice, I guess. Early game. I did use up all... Like, I had a big stock of heavy balls, feather balls, and great balls, and regular pokeballs. And I just decided I was going to use them all. So, when I did some outbreaks over the weekends, just a little bit in my spare time there... Let me tell you, what a hassle to use all those crappy other versions, the weaker balls. Everything was just breaking out and fighting me left and right. It was terrible. Okay, so I s let's see here. 
sand radishes. We'll do this one first. We'll go to Obsidian Field Lands and find the person. Why not? Get that done quick, and then we can move on to Alabaster. That's right. This guy is making a counterpoint here. He's countering his own point. And she's just saying it right now. Uh, if it has harmed nobody, then how could I be in great danger by going out there? Yeah? You just say a silly sausage. I kind of skipped through a little fast, but I'm pretty sure he said something about being a silly sausage. This game is their terminologies. Oh, I thought I was going to take on the professor. This is just too easy. All right, hopefully she doesn't KO shield on right from the start here. I just want him to get out his moves. I'll heal him up if I have to. Yeah, of course he is. I don't think he's gonna withstand With his defense lowered, he might not have taken um, another hit and survived. Plus, I gotta say, rather annoyingly, he uh, would have had to just keep getting healed while getting hurt and being stuck in that rotation. Shield down, just can't catch a break right now. really done an agile move there. Eh. Avoided. I guess I should have just done that from the start. Kind of holding back now, I guess. I was really trying to overkill on that last one. We'll, uh, we'll overkill Pikachu here. God bless it. I was just thinking, I better not get paralyzed here. Yeah, it didn't matter. Alright, I literally cannot get out of the way. <laughs> the, the bubble of where you can go here is so small that you're going to get hit by that. I kind of like a lot about how the battle mechanics work for fighting. I like the music. I like that the doom at the end and the battle decided and all that. But you just don't get in a lot of battles in this game. You can't just find more. I'd say rather unfortunately. Outbreak. You can try to track down the guy's sister and maybe see if there's going to be a shiny, uh, oh, what are they? The barrels?
God, Bidoof. I'm hoping. I think that'd be cool to find uh, shiny doofers. Don't worry, I'll help you. All right, so I'm not allowed to fight him. Ferris are rather annoying, not gonna lie. Between their spore, sleep powder, and poison powder. Oh god, and they're all level 50. They're not playing around. Sucks that Mr. Rhythm isn't in this game. Mr. Rhythm. I don't know that one. Which game was he in? Actually, might know. It sounds kind of familiar, but I can't think of it. Mr. Rhythm. Shieldon's finally getting his day here. It's taken some time, though. Mr. Mime. Oh, I thought the same thing. I was trying to evolve Mr. Mime as soon as I got him. The old man with the cane. Yeah, you should probably quit the uh, security corps. Was it only in Sword and Shield? And that's the first time I saw him, but, you know, I missed a few games along the way. Sir? Adam? Alright, instant mistake. We can fight. The other two are like, yeah, yeah, let's let's all fight. We'll gang up on him. And then this guy fought me, and he didn't see his two friends behind him run away. He thought he had backup. Only because I caught him unawares. Being that he's a water type, he would mess shield done up if he got a hit off with my limited health here. Oh, man. Actually, not so bad. First release for Sword and Shield. Ah, okay. I didn't know any um, that were new or not in Sword and Shield. I mean, some, but... Okay, so none of you are shaping up to be shiny. strong style. Just make sure it works. Never thought I'd be scared of a level 16 Barrel with a 42 shield on, but here we are. I 
All right, we just gotta get one more hit off. Maybe you should try to hit me. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to get a one hit in here with shield on. Then we can evolve him immediately after this, see what he goes into. Let's just double check. Perfect. 12. Nope. Give him a second. All right, let's see what we got here. Cheers, everybody. Oh, well, maybe I have seen him before. He seemed familiar. Vaughn, thank you very much for the like. Cheers, how are you doing? Caught one. Earth power, iron defense, stealth rock. Okay. We'll just have to be what we're doing. Give him a little health booster here. Oh, not that much. We'll beat up on these doofers. Kind of hurt. Okay. Oh, I should have been doing stealth moves. Sorry. almost enough to finish him right there. Alright, this guy's pretty beefy, actually. Putting up a decent fight. Letting it happen now. Just accepting his fate. He hasn't fully grasped the situation. Alright, so the reported Pokemon are gone. End of that. Now we can try to grab this bag quick. Up by where the Toga is. It Toga Kiss? I believe is the name. I'm just pass by this island quick, see if anything shines here. It's always good to just take a look. No? Like anything I basically just meant... Oh! <gasps> Chimchar. I don't know that I have an alpha one of these. But now I do for sure. Not bad. I'll take it. Of course, you always want to just take a peek. See if the Snorlax is shiny or not. He's in fact not, so we're out.
Well, it's nice after we finish this next area, we'll be able to do fly and get all the place. There's Toga Kiss, if you didn't know. You can get up here with Weird Ear. You don't need uh, Sneasler. Just climb along the mountains. Mountain goat it right up. Oh, no. I'll take that back. Alright, good sir. We may leave. If there's good outbreaks, I kind of got to go to those first. You never know what kind of shinies you might find, so. Yeah, we're just going to have to catch another one of these guys. He's almost done one stealth rock. We're just going to do that before we leave. Just going to fight whatever I can. Then we don't need to drag him around with us anymore. He's almost definitely gonna run away. But I get first move. Ho oh, ho, see ya. Alright. Now you can put him away. Get somebody else. But who? What is this guy's motive? He's always telling you. That somebody at the store wants something extra just so he has more stuff to sell to me. Ha! I did not have one. Now I do. Maybe let's let's mess with one of these shinies. Why don't we? Let's see what tan growth is about. Thank you for the grits. All right. Let's head back to those. Let's see what else is out there. In the outbreaks. If not, we're heading up to the ice lands. Oh, actually, yeah, we should finish this sister storyline. They're standing right next to each other all the time. I don't know what the deal is. How does he lose? She's right there. Yeah, we'll do this first. Okay, okay, I get it. He doesn't have anything. Holy lost stuff. A lot of people dying right now, I guess. Well, I guess the more maps you have um, available, probably the more. When I was messing around over the weekend, there was not a lot of uh, options. Not a lot of things to find. doesn't look much different than where we've been it's just snow alabaster supposedly elect kids can be found here as well so maybe i'll have a chance to uh finish catching him Yeah, I feel like after Electrode, 
uh, analog's gonna be pretty hard. You know what? By like, I don't know. Even the second one is kind of challenging. These boss battles are kind of like uh, toned down Elden Ring fights. You kind of gotta learn how they fight and when your openings are. You can't just push through um, after the first one. The first one you can push through pretty good on, but. After that, you actually have to do a little strategy and bide your time a little bit. I'm ready. not gonna have to do a lot of talking on the way up at this time it looks like it's like just get there okay so this seems like a fairly big area maybe some cut off around here well maybe it's not as big as it looks yes ma'am I'll join you, but I'm going to explore first. Oh my god. Oh, shenanigans. Crunchy salt. Nope, oh, out of bounds. Never mind, never mind. Okay. Oh, what's making all that noise? Ooh, a cave. Palms being here, just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like they fit, you know? Okay. I thought I saw... Maybe my tan growth was green or something on this. I did see one person, I don't know how they did it. I was looking at their Pokédex and it showed their shiny uh, Ursa Ring. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, spot, light specimen caught, defeated, food. So we'll just feed it three times and we'll catch and fight the rest. Coincidence, these berries keep just falling from the sky. I do like how that sometimes they won't eat them when they're right in front of their face. Oh, I should have just caught him. I thought about it. Oh, hello. 
What are we doing here, Mr. Monkey? Come on, Snore Run. Move faster. I kind of thought that looked destructible. Snowball. Sneezler? Okay. Oh, what are we looking at here? Go to the dex entry when you can see the picture of them. Press X and it changes it. Oh, from normal to shiny. Okay. Let's take a look. Lose one I got. Oh, whoops. Maybe it's got to be one I currently have? Oh, I don't have that one, sorry. Press minus, minus doesn't work either. I'll try a few buttons here. Oh. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I get it. Okay. You press it, then you press minus. Of course, I gotta shiny fi all these guys. I've seen some shiny Eevee evolutions. Those are pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I can kind of see it now. What a pain to figure out. So regular Chuby, shiny Chuby, barely different, barely different. I do like Golden Magic Carp a lot. It's mostly just the roses on Roselia. All right, who else do we got here? Oh, look at tongue for sure. Pink to yellow. I don't think that's necessarily a better color, but whatever, it's rare. Let's look at the difference here. From light purple to very similar pink. I feel like some of those shinies barely changing like the hue of the color is kind of lazy. I don't like it. I wish they would uh, like the blue to greens. I thought that was really good. On uh, Zubat and uh, Tangrowth there. All right, so I definitely missed some, because where's Zubat? Right here, found him. All right, so we got to work on these two. Food. All right. Hello, Mr. Ice Shard. Would you like a berry? Maybe he'll take it. We'll do the same thing with this guy. We'll give him three. 
and will capture and or fight the rest. No area one of my folk favorite Pokemon are there. Ryolu. I don't know if I know that one by name. But I'll find it. You can do it on the description of the Pokemon as well. Oh, okay. Hmm. I swear I learn something every time I play this game. There's just so much to do, so much to learn. Yeah. Evolves into Lucario. Oh, okay, I know. I know who you're talking about now. Alright, so. 2, 4, 6, 8. We'll just defeat two of them if we see them, or evolve one. What's nice is once you get so far through this game, everything's high enough level that they just evolve after you catch them. all that noise. So you don't need food. Oh my god. But you guys do. Now, now, don't everyone fight for the same berry. I do like when they just glitch back in like this pile of swine just did. Well, that is unfortunate. <sighs> okay, the invisible walls when you're on cliffs that your balls bounce off of, very annoying. I'll admit to nothing. Get globbed, bitch. Alright. Uh, let's check these guys out. Grass types. Okay. I happen to have that. What about these swine nuts? Catch two more. Two, four, six, eight. So the whole catching them without being seen thing. Right out the window. Who needs it? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So swine ups are done. Let's get the drop on this guy. Get him with some grass type moves. Not enough, but let's do one more. Four, six, eight. Defeat two more one time with grass type moves. And we are good. No, oh, let's just see what comes out of here. 
Oh, I didn't see that coming. All right, let's not kill it, but let's maybe get Tan Growth killed while we use regular Pokeballs. It's all to be economically efficient. Cheers. Hey. Hey, you survived. Whoa. Hunter, mischievous. Oh, I forgot about the wisps. Hey, Debbie, thank you for the like. Appreciate you. How are you doing? Cheers. Gonna defeat a couple of these guys. You're welcome. I appreciate it. How's your day going? Hmm. Ooh, and the shares. Hold on. I need to get more tea to share with. Good. How am I doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm really excited here. Uh, just getting to this new area. Every time I get to a new area in this game, I just go crazy trying to catch everything and get them in the Pokédex. And then I lose track of time really badly. Cheers again for the uh, shares there. Hey, if you'd like, go for the uh, trifecta and drop a follow too. Keep running, keep running. I don't know. I thought I saw the ice moving. This is just kind of optical illusion here. Is this something? What? Oh. Touching it could make you freeze. I definitely want to touch it then. Never played Pokemon before? Don't have the Nintendo Switch? Oh, really? Well, it's fantastic. You never played any of the other ones on uh, Game Boy or DS or anything like that? Or how did you uh, end up here on the stream? Just out of curiosity. I was curious how people end up finding uh, the stream and hopping in. Bergen. A lot of times people come in here because they'll see me share to a group for Pokemon. So if you've never played it and you don't have a Switch, I don't know, maybe you like the game? I just haven't gotten one yet? I would recommend getting a Switch. You know, I don't play it all too often, especially on stream. Like, I play it off stream a lot more, I should say. But it's a good game if you're ever hanging out with a group of people, or a good console. I remember once before I had mine, um, hanging out with some friends for must have been a graduation party or something and a guy just brings his Nintendo Switch and sets it down on the table and is like alright Mario Kart that's all it took to sell me on it didn't need a fancy TV or anything set up just plops down the portable part of the, con uh, the console and what is that? Alright, Haunter, you're just going to be an issue. Whoa. 
So Rua, it's like a little cat. I gotta capture all the cats. I don't know if it's gonna run away, so I gotta use an Ultra Ball. Otherwise, I was gonna use a Pokeball. Thought about it. Calculated in my <laughs> in my brain the odds of losing this thing. Said I can't do it. So Rua. Something. Maybe it's more like a fox. What? Hmm. So we're gonna have to feed him. Okay. That we can do. Actually, a pretty beefy haunter. Be a good catch. Bergmite, I see. Hello, Bergmite, my old friend. Yeah, I'm letting him get stronger too. Making all kinds of ears. Should have never gone for the uh, poison powder. Straight foolish. But it happens. Huh? We got the red eye. It's just behind the uh, follower goal there. And I don't know why. Leave me alone, mischievous. Looks like I came down, not totally on purpose. The only wall here that you could climb. Alright, snore run right there. Um... For six. Okay, we need to catch one more. Oh, look at that. Caught a shiny stone out here. Not that I need him. Hey, Palm. I just don't get how there's monkeys out here in blizzards. Like, what are they doing? So I will now be attempting to get here up on the mountains. All right. You never know when there's going to be kind of a soft spot that you can get up to, so... It's kind of good to just keep checking. What do we got over here? That looks like a small guy. Perhaps he's hungry, needs to be fed. Monkey, you stay back. That's for whatever that thing is. Snover, they're called. Okay. Caught different forms, so meaning male and female. I thought that's what that's meant in some other ones, as I've seen with the uh, Sphinx. Didn't really look any different. Defeated with fire type moves. That I can do. do 
don't look at me. Don't even look in my direction. Okay, straight doesn't give a shit. So I did there. If you haven't seen that before, I haven't really done it too often on stream here. As I hit him with these sticky globs, there's certain objects you can use. Sometimes you have to hit him multiple times for it to work. Um, mud ball, spoiled acorns. But the sticky globs a little higher for him, and it's a combination of all those things. So I just kept hitting him with that in the face until it knocked him out a little bit. You have a little bit of a window. You go in there, crush him, cream his corn. Time distortion. What? What? Where? What? Are you behind me? Bat. This is the lady who's got the missing bliss. Cheers. Snower. Maybe it's defeating him with fire type moves as well, so let's just go for it. I didn't expect to fight another one, so I didn't have whatever Pokédex entry ready. Look at that. Quest done. All right, do we need to do more of these snore runs? Two, four, six, eight, ten. He's done. Glee, catch one more. Defeat with steel type. Son of a bitch. I'm very curious to see what's going to spawn in here. Oh, you got steel type moves. I think he's got flash cannon or something like that. No, this one's quite a bit stronger. Trying to keep track of all these guys. Whew. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Need to catch one more. Oh. Oh. 
Now we can fight you and me. Give him that fire. Deuces. Hmm. Well, might just have to beat up two more. Hello! So we're gonna spiral around the outside so we don't miss anything out here and kind of come around inside. Take our free hit here. Why not? It's Typhlosion. He's not gonna die. Waste a couple Pokeballs. Oh, and we get two free hits, so it doesn't really matter. Got him! That's our second scissor. Rabidash, don't need him. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Another one. I'll do a lap. The, Eevee, the Eevees here are probably super strong. Alright, like, we could do this. I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. I did not time this out well. Alright, let's blow up the Tangrowth. Let's take out the Electabuzz. And we'll catch the other scissor. Of course. Of course he's gonna get a quick uh, paralysis off. Doesn't matter. So we just gotta crush him quick. It doesn't matter if I'm paralyzed or not. We got him right here, one and done. Alright, Scissor, you're making me look like a liar. I don't know, might have to, uh... Might have to take you out here. If you don't get him this darn ball. I'm not liking how much he's fighting back. I'm gonna give him one more try. And then to prove that this isn't okay to the other Pokemon, we'll have to take him out. Just as like a, a point. Okay. Alright, he's good. He gets to he gets to live. A dubious disc. Alright, I've got all of you. There's the other scissor over here. I didn't see them drop any items, but it seems like a lot of times these Pokemon, whatever, are the ones like him that are just kind of spawning off on their own and not with a group and they stay here usually have some kind of evolutionary item that they drop a lot of. Let's go, then! Yeah. We'll just crush him. I don't think we needed him. I feel like I've got just as strong of scissors. 
But this Eevee... I might catch him. I also think when he does that move he just did, where he raises his stats, I feel like when their stats are raised like that, that they're a little harder to catch. It seems like it's not quite as often on the first try like that. Ooh, a couple items. Almost missed those. Can't do that. Some stuff is buried on the ground. You can't even see it. Double wall ring. Bet. Uh-oh. Alright. This is super effective, so we'll just ensure he's taken out first. The other two should be easy. It should be one hit wonders as well, but oh, I don't like that. Maybe we'll just keep him alive. Get Garchomp out there. Garchomp, he's literally effective against everything. It's incredible. He's never completely disadvantaged in a fight. Except for maybe the other dragons. I've noticed dragons on dragons are super effective. hit by one of those before. That was the first. Electivire is so big that he's glitched. It never shows him coming out of the ball. The ball goes and then nothing happens. He's there. Alright, good night, sweet prince. There's some cool things, Scissor being one of the main pop-ups here, but I was kind of disappointed that there wasn't uh, some better things popping up in here. Usually there's some item required evolutionaries or something. I guess Scizor is one of those. But still. Pikachu's pretty strong. Might as well catch him, huh? Oh, I'm gonna catch the Electabuzz. Oh well. The more you catch, the more money you make. Why not? Cheers. Cheers to whoever reacted. Um, I see my number of reactions went up there, but didn't pop up. Ah, Tyler, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the like. Cheers. All right, so this storm's got to be about over. Matter of time. Here's the last fight, probably. 
And it should be an easy one. Hey, there it is. Maybe I was just a bit ahead of time there. <laughs> Thank you again, Tyler. Not very effective. You know, it's super good against these electric types. Torterra. I've been trying to get used to doing these um, faster options here for catching. Whoops, don't want to do that. And switching Pokemon, I'm just been playing. I put in a lot of hours of doing it uh, up, down on D-pad and going through the menu. So relearning how to do that the faster way is just a pain in the patootie. Oh, hello. Yes. I feel like if the, you can get into these fights of uh, three, four, two on one, then why is there not attacks that have um, AOE? For any of you non gamers out there, that's area of effect where basically it just covers a whole big area. They get hit by that area, kind of like Electrode was doing to me in the beginning there. And everything in that gets hit. I think some of these like thunder tell me this shouldn't hit I don't know everybody in a big area that covered like a Celio maybe 15 times as big. a much plumper Celio all right so that's over so I've kind of explored this right side so we're gonna kind of make our way back Actually, I'm just gonna teleport back and we're gonna go more left see what's out there I for sure got a lot of junk now. Oh, too many acorns. I did buy 999 acorns and maxed out my inventory because it costs like 20 or 50,000. It was dirt cheap and worth it. Twenty-seven. Holy biscuits! It's more than I meant to. I'll say that. No, no, it's not. I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Scissors, hell, are done. Okay. So this guy, we can just keep beating up on some or catching them. That's fine. Or we can use one. Same deal here. Catching them or beating them up. Don't need to worry about bringing them out here. Yeah, I don't think I need to take any of these out to train them and get them done faster. get these guys in the correct box quick it's 45 Oof, way worse Max bag cost one million. Okay, I figured it was gonna be a round number like that. Still, that's insane. Ice. All right. These guys don't share any kind of type. 
Just have to keep moving them along. And then go to fighting. One of them is a fighting type. We need a second ice box. If I was clever, I'd call it refrigerator. But I'm not. Just looked it up. I probably could have looked it up. I guess I just was being lazy not looking it up. Normal ghost. Where do I have room for? I have room for a normal. There we go. Alright. 38, 38, 38, 64. Remember the first time I saw one of these things in sword and shield and I saw that type grass and ice it's just the weirdest thing blew me away okay so it kind of shucks all right the rest of these guys can go I think oh well, let's see if I have Oh, the snow run can live. I guess they're all gonna live, but you know what I mean. Try to keep a balanced amount. Somewhere between three and two, depending on what they are. Okay. So now we're gonna go Lefty Lucy. So if I'm at 150,000, maybe I'm on the last set for bag upgrades. Oh, I should probably sleep some of this off. I'm a madman with no cares. I'll, I'll heal him up. Hello, monkeys. I'm here. Generous king. Sneasler. So if I go all the way up, is that out of bounds? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, a wisp. I did see a wisp earlier, didn't I? I thought I saw one in that cave. I'm going to start marking my wisps that I've collected. We'll do stars. That way, if I'm confused at all later... Why don't I have that wisp? That one wisp that I know I found them all. Where the heck could it be? I can just check my map. Because I've seemed to have that trouble every time where I've definitely found them all. And there was one that I walked up to and I thought I picked it up. And it just got away from me. Okay, so this seems to be like a little bit of a hidden path you could say. bit of a cave down there. How far up here can I go? What's the cutoff? 
Also, let's get this flower. Flying Crobat. Yeah, there's the cutoff. Ooh. Oh, it's going bad. It's getting real dark. I guess we should just see how good he is. I did not think that one was going to land it. All right, he gets out. He gets frustrated. Just throw another one. That's how you do it. Thank you, thank you. If anyone feels so generous as to drop a new like, share, or anything uh, for that amazing catch there, I would appreciate it. Ooh, what is that? You know, you hear the calls of these things. Sometimes there's nothing even... Oh! Hey, there's your Lucario. Well, now you know where to find him, Michael. You probably, you might have already known, but. Now I can guarantee you know. All right, well, he's not breaking out. That's a one and done, easy peas. Level 70, shenanigans. I feel like I'm not finding these wisps like candy. He did get a new move here. Ancient power, that'd be a good one. We'll keep poison powder over sleep powder. Okay, so we got a whole other big area out here. There's something big out there. I can't see what it is. But I can hear it. God, whatever that is, I want it. A dusk a clops, a glaey bouncing rock down there. Got us a bouncer. Oh, wisp, let's mark it. Electabuzz. So, this must be along this area where a luck kid will occasionally spawn so that'll have to be another thing we keep a lookout for as we need to feed a couple of them hey look another flying crowbat Looks like there's a Luxio down there, a Machoke. Why not just catch another one? That's why. That's why. Here you go again. Why don't you just catch another one? Oh, hello. Hello, unknown, my old friend. Ah! This area does not want to cooperate. This must be why? 
because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> oh, terrible joke of the day. It's only uphill from here, so keep that in mind. Do you want to be fed, little guy? Is that what you want? You hungry? Yeah, you're hungry. Oh, he's not popping up yet. Should pop up. Maybe now that he's done eating, maybe it needed a second. No? We'll just feed him three times. Four times. Four times in a capture. So far it's been one and two, so this feels like it'll be a one, two, three, four, five on the feeds. An easy one to complete. Maybe even five. Yeah, the first one was a little hard for him to reach. I like that he does the little Naruto run. Those arms behind his back. Oh, Ryalu. Ah. Okay. I don't know what I was saying. Choke. Choke. Friends. Friends of the High Court. Ooh, another message. Just trying to be a little well rounded here in my search of the area. So, I like to kind of peel it back and connect the area. There are elective buzzes everywhere. Why do they like being in the cold? Some of the habitats out here left me confused. Okay, well, he's done. Nice, 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 nice. Um, pile of swine. Defeat two more with grass type moves. sleeping. It's like a guarantee if you catch him asleep. We'll mix it up. Try to catch him and beat him. Snickle Fritz, they're everywhere. Okay, well that is certainly a heavy. <gasps> Not just a heavy. The daddy of heavies. He's a little bit further away than I thought. Huh? 
Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Bang, and he's looking right at me. You want a berry, big guy? Look at that, yummy berry. He is not interested. Is it gonna work or I'm in for it? That one might work. Those back shots are insanely good. Um, seven heavy and an alpha. So they're done. I don't need to mess with those guys anymore. Ooh, but a bomb of snow here. He's at six. I'd say it'd be advantageous to catch another one or two. It's a big old swine up. Exploration of this area has been a little chaotic. So if we catch one more Obama Snow, we'll be done with them. Okay. Sand radish. I'm not here, I'm not here. Alright. I meant to throw a Pokeball. This might be worse off. I may have made a mistake here. And I have now wasted those globs. Okay, it wasn't a mistake, but I definitely wasted the globs. Ooh, another one. Catch this guy and we're done. Let that grass for me. Nice, and we're done with those guys. Okay, so we'll climb this mountain first, and then we'll finally go through the rest of the pass. As I do not see an elect kid. Is that one right there? And he's sleeping. If he's sleeping, I definitely gotta just beat him. He's going. 
going after the berry. All right, you're a problem. I'm gonna take you out of the equation here. Ah. And we'll capture that big old electric buzz. Some food. Why is the left kid running at me, too? Eat more food. God bless you. And what's your issue? Everyone's trying to start something here. Maybe. Just take you out of the fight. Set you over here. I'm gonna capture this guy. What is an Electabuzz doing with Fire Punch? Gotta have him. Cheers. Kid needs the seven nine. I just catch him. Should be good. And that is the weakest one I found, by the way. All the ones I found in the highlands were pretty beefy. Hey, you're one of those guys I gotta beat up again. Where are you running? When their kind learns to fear you. Is that a good thing? Now we gotta beat up one more. Darn shame. Here's that Blissey. Hey, Blissey. Okay, so it's kind of dead end. Not really, though. You can go up and over the mountains here, it looks like. That didn't work. That's upsetting.
monster here to my right looks kind of like it could be up here. Also kind of like a dead end. Seeming real dead end like. That's a chancy. Monkeys, another Blissey. Oop, Wisp, hello. Oh, that's what we heard. Oh, shit. Well, I already got one. What do you think the money's worth on one of these? I think mine's better. I think we need to do battle. Mine is not better. Whoa. Hello, replacement. He's about to stomp mine out of existence. Yeah, that'll about do it. Almost, what do you have, 376 HP? Meant nothing. Like how much fight this guy's got. Whew. Oh, mine fainted. He lost the fight. I guess he doesn't deserve to be, uh, Brought back. Lonely existence for these Garchomps. Uh, this will technically be the third Garchomp I've replaced. Because uh, I had one from a Giblet. But he wasn't an alpha. Then I got an alpha gibbler or whatever the second one is in the Highlands. And I've been raising him for a little while. Now an alpha Garchomp. That's just the beefiest thing I've seen out in the field. I knew I could hear something big out here. Did not know that's what I was messing with. Oh, looky licky. There's a little bit of everything out here, huh? Now, I thought there might be a wisp up here. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. There's one at the top. Oh, as my name's not Lechavius Dexterius Marcus the Third. There we go. Ooh, another hole in the ground. Oh. Well, this is like a tongue central idea. No, you get me that rock. I'll tell you the nerve. No, 
know. You see nothing. You know nothing. Oh, times again at food. Oh. I'm gonna give it more food. Frost glass. Give it five food. Get up five. Catch it. And it's an alpha. That'll get us up to nine. And then if I use one agile move with it, it'll be done. Bet. Happy? Mad? Sad? What is this emotion? Okay, once it eats this one, I'll hit in the back. Perfect. Back smack along with food. Guaranteed. The upper one piece deuces him out. Ooh, that's pretty strong too. Let's see what's going to come out of the trees. Just these things. A beefy version of these things, though. Might as well catch it. Just that easy. Honestly, how do these giant gla gla glally, whatever they are, how do they fit under these tiny minerals? I bet you this is where the second camp is. Let's try to do that quick. And we'll assess the day and call it a night. This hole so we can come back for it. Oh. I think this might have been the wisp I saw earlier that I just kind of forgot about. Yeah, because right here is where the Obama snow was. We'll try again next time. We'll do some sick tricks. Ooh. 
look at this absolutely beautiful creature. I did see somebody complaining about these quests once, and I totally get it. It's like, no waypoint. To help you get it, the waypoint just leads you back here. And the person's just somewhere. They don't give you a good clue at all as to where they're actually at. Just somewhere in probably a hundred foot radius. You know, usually not far. Just looking for a guy lost somewhere. Oh, one of the clan's villages is over here. That might be a fast travel location, too. That guy's talking about Ursaluna. He might give me a quest. Someone, maybe here, I don't know, it's supposed to give you the quest to give you a peat block in case you don't find this super rare peat block that I think can only be dug up in the Mirelands. And I think I'm told it's like a 5% drop rate. Okay, there we got the fast travel. Nice, nice, nice. Just gotta set up the second camp now. Also gotta keep our eye on that space-time distortion. I want at least the items in it. I don't know that I necessarily want to arm wrestle everything in there. Ooh, level 90, look at that. Craig, where art thou? Oh, alright, well. Craig will be fine. He's in Craigulus. <laughs> I don't know. Bad dad joke number seven.
Alright, I feel bad because I think I'm going to beat up some of these guys. I'll bring Guard Chomp back. Can't just sit there and let him be KO'd. GG's. Alright, let's do... Oh, Electabuzz snuck in this one, huh? And I will stick through the uh, space-time distortion just in case something really good shows up. But so far, I haven't been too impressed. I mean, they'd be really good if they weren't things that I have already caught everywhere. They're, you know, they're decent, but... I already got them. I don't need them. I think the Ravidash would be interesting. Try capturing one more. I wasn't supposed to be fighting with any of these guys, but here I am.
Okay. Real quick. Just finish this camp. Told him to meet him at the base of the waterfall. Right? Susan, thank you for the like. Appreciate you. Cheers. So he's got to be around here. Maybe he's at the top of the waterfall. Or perhaps in that cave. Let's try the top of the waterfall first. I don't know if I can even actually get up here. If I can, this is going to be a long way down. I can foresee this guy going, Oh, the bottom of the waterfall. I climbed all the way up here. This is Don't have that thing. Rough light. So there's three of these. Oh man. Alright, what do we gotta do for these guys? Catch and feed with electric types. Catch with more. Defeat the other. for six, eight. To defeat one more of the electric types, we're done. Why not defeat two more, huh? These rocks must have to do s with something. I would wonder if it's end game. So my theory is incorrect about him being at the top of the waterfall. Oh, hello, Wisp. What's going on, Mr. Wisp? The rock? Oh, it might. I'll have to remember to check tomorrow. I know they have in other lakes. I think the first one? Another willow wisp. Alright, so this is frustrating. Who are we looking for? Craig. Alright, let's just look up Craig real quick. Dennis, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing, bud? Cheers. <coughs> Wrong pipe. 
Dennis, don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> Where to find Craig? Thank you for the shares as well. Hell yeah. Double cheers. You aren't trying to kill me. Ah, what's up? Not much. Not much. Just catching me right here at the end of the stream. Um, we are trying to find Craig, and apparently he's right across the stream, and I was just here. Oh my god, I can see him already. I totally, <laughs> totally look past this. I was just trying to uh, set up the uh, camp here. Drink water today? Do you have a big weekend? Um... No, I had a few uh, drinks back on Friday, but not much of anything after that. But I got uh, green tea today. It just looks like water because, well, it's green. Oi! All right. He wants it, he's got it. Uh, you know, I try to, try to have some healthy drinks once in a while. I have been drinking beer pretty much on every stream for a week or two. So I was like, oh, maybe I should go back to not having beer every day. Trying to work on getting this gut size down. Shed a couple pounds. And I don't think beer helps. Cub chews snot out here. So there will be cub chews, potentially. If they're talking about them. All right, look at that. Look who showed up. The guy who's perpetually unhappy. You got a quest for me? On stream. Wait, they should allow us to smoke pot while playing Pokemon on stream. I swear to God, I've seen people doing it. I don't know if they're hiding what they're doing. But <laughs> there's people that do, for sure. I don't know what they say. Oh, it's a vape, it's a vape. <laughs> then their eyes get red, they start giggling a bunch. You know what they're doing. Especially when the streamer's name is, you know, something 420 in there. I even saw a guy once. You ever seen those where you can change what you look like and you can like animate yourself? People are all different kinds of things. I've seen one where a dude was literally a pot leaf playing Madden. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> we know what you're doing. He you must be Colorado or something. Doesn't give a shit. Is this why? It's gotta be why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Yep. <laughs> well, they don't seem to get in trouble, so must be fine. I like the name Cub Chew. It's a baby bear sneezing. I know. It's a perfect fit. Oh, I was like, where's this fighting one? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Probably or Cali. Yeah. Or what? Oregon. Oregon, they can do whatever. That place is wild. Um, or Florida. Or Massachusetts. Or it's a lot of places now, isn't it? 4360. 51. But he's not an Apex. That's all right. Forty-six and a forty-three. Huh, that's what I got already. Look at that. Is 
So these guys are to dump. What Pokemon is this? I forgot. Oh, no problem. This is uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's uh, the newer one that came out pretty recently. Um, it is absolutely bomb. This is probably one of my favorite Pokemon games I've ever played. It, uh, I don't know, it's just got so much new to it. A lot of things um, the other games never had being so open world and... Um, being able to catch a lot of Pokemon without having to fight them is really cool. Speeds it up. Although there's a lot of downside to that because it's really easy to just miss them and waste your Pokeball. <laughs> Whereas before, you never just missed. Maybe they broke out. Sure. <laughs> but you didn't just straight up miss. And then it was lost forever. Wasted. Destroyed. Terrible. But that's how it is. All right. I've got an extra luck kit if somebody wants it. They're kind of hard to find, so. I'll sit on it. Let's see, mail. Okay. It looks good. Oh, hell yeah. Do you got a switch? If you got one, I would highly suggest it. Getting this one. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, it's, I would say, um, kind of addicting. Once you get started in it, it's hard to quit. I've uh, put in a lot of a lot of hours already. <laughs> Maybe more than I'd care to admit, but sometimes I'll show it off. I think this one Frostlass come from this one. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look that up quick. Let's get rid of this guy. Goodbye, good night. See you later. Got a lot of these things. Whoa. Have you played many of these uh many Pokemon games before, Dennis? Sword and Shield were super good. And then before that I had only really played Game Boy ones. Um, because I never had a DS, so I jumped from Game Boy to Switch, and it was just a wake-up call because I had so much stuff I had never seen before popping up, and also how your Pokédex works in this is just amazing. Get rid of these clowns. Actually, there's a few things I want to see that I've gained here. Okay. So first thing I want to look up quick is Snorunt's evolution, how that works. Because I believe it can go two ways. So if it's female, you use a Dawnstone, you get Frostlass. Otherwise, if it's male, 42, it turns into Glaive. So. Let's 
to make room for these guys. These two are going to go. All right. What are these things? Bergmite. Do they evolve? If so, how much? The Enthusiast Guide. Oh, it must be a quest. A request, sorry. I keep calling them quests. At 37, it'll turn into a Hiswayan Avalug. Well, now that I know that, let's stick these guys up here. And these guys can come in here. Yeah, how about that? Alright. Snowbird, let's make sure there's not another form. I just don't know these ones too well. Nope. Level 40, it turns into Obama Snow. And I remember, I think you had to do Ancient Power so many times, but Pilot Swine would evolve. I don't know if that's in this game or not. So we're just going to find out quick. After Ancient Power learned. Yep. So we'll try to beef this guy up. Am I got anything else new? I'm not sure. No shinies today. Kind of sad about that. But that's all right. Lots of shinies to be found. They'll pop up. Oh, I should probably work on this guy. Mm. That's probably about it. No, oh, and this one. All right, we've got some things to do. It's tank growth. You can go back. You're done. You're out. I'm sure this guy can. Hopefully, after I get this guy's stuff, he can um, give me some Ultra Balls. If I can just buy those, it might be cheaper than buying the materials and making them. I don't know. Oh, look. Phyloswine can just evolve. He's got the move. We're good to go. gonna be beefy. Mammo swine. Okay. We'll just take these two out for now. Three. That'll be three. that away okay and rough look can evolve at 54 so since we're already at 55 we're in and ready to go you need a stone to evolve them which one oh must be like a swain bravery braviary 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 yep That's pretty legit. Let's check out with the professor. Another 27. <laughs> Holy donkeys. That ought to net me a lot of money. Yep. All right. Eight alphas. There's an arrow to go down and look through all the lists of things. Mammal swine? No, no stone is needed. 
He just needs to know that move. Ancient thing. I've forgotten already, but ancient power. Luckily, he already knew it. So it's basically a certain level, but there's just the caveat that he has to also have that specific move on. Esper Wing, Brave Bird. I'm going to get a chance to catch him out of the air. Blizzard, High Horsepower. I'll have a chance to defeat him and catch a alpha of those. Alright, let's just make sure they have those moves. I'm sure they do. Blizzard, High Horsepower. Jeepers. His moves are insane. Sorry, in Pokemon Go, you need a shiny... Uh, sh is that a shiny stone or a shiny stone? That's alright. Brave Bird and Esper Wing. I think those were the two, right? Just double check that, and I'll have them ready for tomorrow. Okay, thought so. This guy needs Aura Sphere and Close Combat. Only attack and moves. That's how we go. Sinnoh? Oh. Guess I haven't seen that one. Must be something unique. To Pokemon Go, maybe? That's pretty cool. He's pretty big. And he's not even an uh, alpha. Now he's real big. And he looks real pissed. He's an alpha. He doesn't look that big. Okay, so that'll be it for tonight. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out, chatting, your likes, your follows, your shares. Actually, I don't think we got any follows. But, hey, if anyone else is watching who hasn't followed yet or even after the stream, please do. We're really close to our goal here of uh, 250 follows. Got to get those by the end of the month, and I think we can do it. We're pretty close there. Oh, man. See, my CPU is not handling the stream well tonight. Anyway, it's only when I flip the screens. So, uh, let's see. Thank you, uh, Marcus, for the like and share uh, and the nice comment there right at the beginning. Thank you, William, for the like and share. Uncanny for the like. Kayla for the like. Michael for the like. And you're chatting along with us. Uh, thank you, Mohan, for the like. Sam, thank you for the like and share. Levon, thank you for the like. Debbie, thank you for the like and chatting along as well. And the shares. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the like. Susan, for the like. Dennis, for the like. And the share. And chatting along as well. Appreciate all of you guys. He's not pissed. He's happy. Little <laughs> Vegamite as happy as could be. Ah, he looks like, yeah. He looks pretty chill for a guy with angry eyes. You know how it is. Yeah, cheers to everybody. Thank you guys for the great stream. I feel like it was a really good stream. We had a lot of people in here watching. More than I've normally had with this game. And there's a lot of people watching this game just with other people. So it was nice. Nice to see all that. Extra little activity there. We had 69 shares, which is a hilarious number. Cheers to that. And a great time overall. I think we might get some follows after the stream, too. Who knows? We'll find out. Question of the night, though. For those of you who are watching after the stream. Um, I think you'll be able to see the answer if you're on Facebook. But if you're over there on YouTube, feel free to comment your answer there. Uh, which of the following metals does not react with hydrochloric acid? That is the question of the day. Um, I got this on like my second guess. It looks like a lot of you guys got it right. 
Uh, is it zinc? Is it copper? Is it iron? Or is it aluminum? And uh, nobody voted for iron, which is correct. 14% voted for aluminum. Incorrect. And we got a tie. 43% for zinc or copper. Hmm. What do we think it is? Well, I'll tell you this much. It's not zinc. The answer is, in fact, copper. Copper is uh, the metal of these four that does not react to hydrochloric acid. So here's the tidbit that goes along with that. Copper has a higher reduction potential, more positive than hydrogen, and therefore does not react to HCI acid. Yeah, who knew? Anyway, again, it was a great night. I'll be back on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. We'll keep exploring this region, uh, trying to catch them all. Uh, see what else is out there. We kind of have an idea of a couple alphas that we haven't seen yet, but we have some Pokedex items on with Braviary and Mano Swine there. Um, we found the village, and we know we're going to have a few more quests here along the way. So it'll be a good time. Don't miss out. 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, per the usual. We'll see you guys then. Michael, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you. Oh, and just one last thing again. If you're over there on YouTube or Facebook here after the stream, subscribe, follow, like, share, comment. Do all the things. Whatever you feel like doing, go for it. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night and stay fresh, cheese bags.